I'm Burgundy Phoenix. And I'm Govind Kumar. And you are watching The Curve, brought to you by... Casting Frontier. Yes. Today's a big day for this anyone out there watching. Yeah, this is a very important episode. You know why? We're going to talk about side gigs, how to support yourself while you're hustling and trying yeah. to get your acting career going. Yeah, you have to have a side hustle, or 10, living so, in L.A. I think all of you would agree that a nine to five job isn't as conducive. So you need a job with flexibility that pays the bills, but also gives you, that doesn't take too much emotional yeah. energy or baggage. I wouldn't like go and try and be like a personal assistant to like a studio executive full time. You're going to be stressed. Yeah. You're not so, going to have time to think. I feel like so many people we know do uh, drive for Uber or Lyft or yeah. do Postmates. Instacart. Um, mm -hmm. Do dog walking. I myself can't because my car is too old. So I also, you know, if you're a barista, you have a wait job that, yeah. you know, you can work at night or you can, it's flexible with your other staff. Yeah, anything that's going to be conducive to you still being able to go to auditions and be creative and take classes and, right, like do everything that you still need to do besides work, which you have to do a lot of here. Yeah, and I think that uh, if you can find stability in the instability, so if you find a job that can pay the bills, but you uh, can put it away so you can focus your yeah. energy on your career. Because I know that I've even spent so much time where, looking back, I was so stressed with my jobs that then I didn't have, I didn't have the energy to focus on my auditions or my goals in terms of my career. Yeah, and it's really simple to like go on. You know, one of the best things is actually a temp agency. You can go and say, look, I'm an yeah, actor, staffing. and they call you, and if you're not available, you don't have to go to the job, but it's there if you want it. Speaking of jobs you have, um, what kind of jobs have you done here? Where to, do I to begin? Uh, don't look at my LinkedIn. Um, I have done a lot of weight jobs. I've done hosting, <laughs> catering jobs. Oh. I call, I've done brand ambassador work. I call it, oh, I shouldn't say it. <laughs> Let's I shouldn't not call say it. that. I'm not going to say what I call <laughs> But I do brand ambassador work. Yeah. Where you do pop events and you host for, you know, when big companies do these uh, events randomly. So you'll host or you'll hand coins. <laughs> To people. That what about sense. what about your jobs? What have, what have you done? I uh, honestly, I've done brand ambassador work too. I for two years used to go around to grocery stores and sample out protein, all natural, plant based protein. Of course, you got the cute. It's because jobs. I was passionate about it, and I actually drank the protein, and I happened to see somebody sampling it, and I was like, oh my god, I love this because blah blah blah. And they're like, do you want to get paid literally one hundred and fifty dollars a day for four hours? I was like. Yes, I do. Yeah. So I've done that. I've worked as a receptionist at the Red O restaurant um, when it was around. It's only in Santa Monica now. Um, but I was there special <sighs> events. I was the only person who could answer like a 10 line switchboard. So I answered phones. Um, I've done personal assistant work. I am the brand ambassador for a company called talentboom.com, mm -hmm. which loves casting frontier. We support them 150 billion percent. Uh, I do hosting every now and then. We do stuff like this. And I think what helps is, you know, right when, you know, when I moved here, when you have that energy, when you move to a place, you're like, I just got here, you reach out to all the people you know, and you say, hey, do you know, do you have any job postings? How do you get by? Facebook groups, yeah. um, you search online, um, all of that has helped. And so right away, you can just get that, nip it in the bud. How do yeah. I support myself financially? You know, one thing too, that's important is to it doesn't always happen right away. Like mm -hmm. I wasn't able to just now I can thankfully have a little bit more of a flexible schedule. I wish I would have known about this type of conversation when I first moved here. Cause I was like, Oh, I have to get like a full time job. And it was just terrible. I kept having to go from job to job because nobody would let me off for my auditions. And it took me a minute to learn that. Yeah. It's just creating an atmosphere for yourself that then you just can you can look at the postings on Casting Frontier. You can spend that time during the morning or have the open schedule that you can head to an audition last minute. Mm -hmm. Because I know so many of you out there, I mean, you have to relate to us where you're just stressed about your bills, you're stressed about car payments. So you just want to get that yeah. fixed. Get it taken care of. Yeah, I say another, another tip we've heard and that is is great if you um, know if it's in the similar area of what you're doing. So if you go to an audition or go to a casting and maybe they're looking for assistance or someone oh, yeah. helping the session. And so if it's in the same atmosphere, that can only help. Right. That's definitely a really great way to not only sharpen your audition skills, but get really, you know, build really great relationships with casting. And also people, when you offer your help and you're generous with your time, that goes way more than how pretty you are or how high you can sing. I mean, it, it really goes 
Yeah, and I think your intention comes across. If your intention is to just be part of the world and be part of the industry, I think that however way you can manifest that mm -hmm. can get you to where you want to get to. Yeah. So if you guys have any great jobs that we didn't list or you guys think of something, right, that could Please be helpful. Please let us know. Yes. Comment below. Like, mm -hmm. subscribe, share with your friends. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep this conversation going. Yeah. So this is just a... Uh, yeah, let us know what you do for jobs. We want, we really want to know because, you know, we might need one of those. I know. Jobs. Uh, yeah, we may need it. We might need one.